here we have a 1.5 volt uh, battery running this pepper clip motor before I use this motor to run with a 12 volt battery this is the the battery pack I bought from a pound land here in the UK as you can see the end end uh, battery is 1.5 and the other one's 12 volts so you get assorted batteries in there and I only used the 12 volt before but um, to my amazement I like to run on a 1.5 volt battery here you go this is the one that I built before um, 3 volts which I used I bought this uh, solenoid and stripped it out and made it to run with this battery here on a 3 volt but to my amazement this is running 1.5 volt now what I did different here is I put a different magnet in there it's a one millimeter by I think a three mil magnet there so it's more freer running in there you can see uh, I don't know if you can see that now but it's more, more freer running there uh, so it's more loose so it's running like that now if I just take this 1.5 battery maybe I can show you if it's a 1.5 I don't know if you can see that 1.5 volt there and type battery now this is a 12 volt battery I'll just show you that it used to run on a 12 volt battery it's a thinner one in the pack but there you go it's running quite fast the thinner ones and there's the uh, you can see there's the um, piston solenoid there that one's pretty good just to explain to you a little bit on this piston solenoid what I used um, I used a nail and I used uh, a sleeve of a wire so I took the wire out earth wire and I, and I used the sleeve to connect the nail to the, uh, the crankshaft there and that's why so this is not really electrically connected so the magnet does not disturb it from the running so it's runs really like that in case you want to build one well thank you for watching well I'll just show it to you I'm quite happy with it and surprised that uh, this thing actually runs on one point five five volt battery. It's, uh, it's been running for about two hours now, so the battery's getting a bit dead. Thank you for watching.